Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Today we're headed on into Mount Chug Chug. Wasn't there a Mount Chug Chug in uh, Wild Arms 5? Oh. Really? The door won't let me in because I don't have a boss symbol? Huh. Remember that thing right there for later. Yeah, if you played Wild Arms 1, or really any of the other Wild Arms games, I'm sure you know what's inside that little prism right there. Okay, so let's see. Continue on our way. Oh, that way's a dead end, so just head over here inside this little door, and then continue on around over here to get some treasure. Ooh, get a headgear. This is a nice piece of armor for Brad. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Also, since last time I upgraded Brad's arm, I, I'm just upgrading the bazooka. That's it. Don't worry about his other arms. Just deal with the bazooka. And um, I just gave it another point in attack power. And then I also went and I got the mage weapon uh, spell for Lilka. And what that does is it allows her to... Um, what is it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, it allows her to increase... Um, other party members attack power, but it doesn't work on arms. It's only like short range attacks. Ooh, over there we get another crest. I'm gonna be filling that up with an earth attack magic spell because the next boss that we're facing is gonna be weak versus earth. So just continue on our way. Fall down this hole. Whoa. Yeah, and again we can survive falls of infinite height. Oh, but we can't go up the elevator. That sucks. And eh, whoa. Yikes! Yeah, um, get ambushed. So, let's see what we got in here in Mount Chug Chug. Oh, these guys. We haven't seen them for, um, these guys could have, like, came back to the world map there, but they never actually came. They can steal from you, and they can also run away! And, yeah, whenever they withdraw, they run. So, honestly, at this point, you can just kill them with physical attacks. Um, I want to say that they're weak to ice magic spells, but I'm not entirely sure because my notes for this guy was like four episodes ago. And yeah, I don't have those notes in front of me. So there you go. Anyway, they're easy enough. Okay, so yeah. Once you've um, gone ahead and kicked that little minecart down the uh, shaft, it'll end up right over here. Let's kick it again. Oh, hey. Whoa. Yikes. Whee. Ho ho ho. Awesome. Yeah, it reminds me of something from Dragon Quest V. Or a lot of Dragon Quest games, after all, but mostly Dragon Quest V. Can we hit the switch sometime today? Oh, so I'm stuck there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Like a prism, I guess. Aww. Always oh, thinking of Marina, his little girly friend. How cute of him. Well, let's go ahead and hit this lever. Yeah, you have to turn this lever in order to uh, get the various elevators around here to start working again. So, let's grab on this elevator and continue on our way. There we go. Fall down that little pit, and now we can go back to the previous room that we were just at with the two elevators that didn't work, and... Oh, wait. That's not the right way, is it? Do I need to go in this door, I think? Yeah, I didn't really feel like going the wrong way. There we are! Yeah, this is the right way. Okay, so there's an elevator on that high platform that we couldn't get to, but there's also an elevator right over here. So let's take that one. And uh, just follow our way around. We don't really need these crystals, but they're there. Whoa! Yikes! So, can I now go up this elevator? Oh, uh, hey, I can! Nice! And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Mount Chug Chug. Um, you could save there. The boss fight coming up isn't that hard, so it's not that big of a deal if you don't. Um, it's completely up to you if you want to save or not, but saving takes forever in this game, and I really don't feel like doing it. Uh-oh. Boss music! What's going on? Wait, we've seen him before. That's the, uh, the, yeah, the one-eyed giant. He was, um, one of the rioters at Illsville Prison. Oh, yeah, it's dangerous to go alone! Oh, yeah. Oh, how do you already know that? Yeah, because he is a terrorist! Oh, yeah. Shouldn't you have known that, Brad? I mean, you were in the same prison that he was in. 
Yeah. I mean, he was there for like, what, five years? I would imagine that, even though your locker's gonna sell, you know, you would know the people in the prison. Like, I don't know, in the common areas, or if you're getting food or something? The thread told Antonora. Someone's been following us. What's the thread? Who's Antonora? No, what's your name? Oh! Your name is Boss Time! Pretty cool introduction here. It's like spinning sword, looks like a windmill or something. It's nice, I like it. Oh, Ptolemaea. Okay. Straight up ancient history, I guess. Like the Ptolemaic dynasty and all that? Back in uh, ancient Rome? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, okay. Uh, we're gonna kick your ass. Don't worry. We will. Okay, so let's see. We're pretty good on HP, so I'm just gonna go ahead and have everybody attack. I'm even gonna have Lilka attack right now, just to build up her FP so that she can um, cast other spells. For the most part in this fight, she is going to be um, support. She's gonna be your healer. She's also gonna be your buffer. Um, whereas the boys are going to be doing the main brunt of the damage. Ptolemy has 3,000 HP, and, yeah, he has this bastard attack right here. BAM! Oh man, that's no good, and I wanted to buff too. That sucks. Okay, so Ashley's going to attack. Let's have you lock on with your bazooka, and definitely heal up yourself first. Lilka is extremely fragile. You want to make sure that she has uh, the most HP right now. Brad and Ashley, at their HP levels, they can pretty much survive still. Um, if he goes after them some more, then yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have, um, have Lilka heal. Oh, really? Again? Seriously? Oh, this is not good! But I have a plan. We'll be fine. Man, thank God it healed a Loka. Woo! Look at all that. Uh, let's see. Let's have you try your shot weapon. You continue locking on with Bazooka. And I'm going to have you Mystic a Heal Berry. And that should heal 500 HP on all of our party members. So I don't have to worry about it in case he uses that Ptolemaic Dynamite again and just kills Brad. I'm awful. I'm ruin all my strategies. Thank God for Mystic. It's so good. Please don't miss, please don't miss, please don't miss. Sweet! Okay, so yeah, he dealt about 500 damage with his um, arm, but look at how much damage Brad's gonna be able to do with his bazooka locked on. Whoa, almost 900 damage! That's like double what he, um, what Ashley was able to do. Seriously, Ptolemyo, like, come on now. Give me a break here. Wow, you're really uh, going in for the kill, aren't you? Let's go ahead and use another shot weapon. We'll go ahead and lock on with another bazooka. Oh, nah. just heal yourself. You'll be fine. I don't want to waste too many heal berries. Not that it really matters. Heal berries are, are plentiful in this game. Big berries really even are plentiful in this game too. Oh, and I'm also not going to be using a lucky card in this battle because, yeah, he only gives 750 experience. He doesn't give any Gala either. So with a lucky card, you would have only gotten, what, 1,500 experience? Because there aren't any of the parts to Ptolemaea. So I just don't think it's worth using a lucky card. Yeah, um, you weren't that hard. I have Mystic. Oh. And I want to show off Mage Weapon, too. But couldn't do that today, I guess. Basically, if I had time, I would have had Loka cast Mage Weapon on uh, Ashley, and then Ashley would have went to town with his regular physical attacks and not really used his arms, because his arms miss so often. Oh, this is Odessa. And who are you? Oh, you're that key user! Oh, yeah, you were there before we've seen you. Oh, and you were the guy who killed the warden at Illsville Prison! Holy crap! Uh, yeah, that's us. But you guys were around whenever that demon summoning thing went, uh, went awry at um, the Sword Cathedral. Oh, man. Um, there's only one girl in our group. There aren't girls in our group. 
know. Um, I guess you could kill us, but uh, we could also kill you. We did just kick Ptolemaeus' ass, so we could totally kick your ass too. Oh, but she won't let us. That works, I guess. Oh, well that was quick. Really? Um, you're done. Oh, you're the Cactus Corporation. Who says this? You're, blo you're, you're broadcasting clandestinely? Like, who says that kind of stuff? I mean, I know that that's what our party was saying, but why are they saying it too? It's kind of like, um, whenever, whenever, uh, whenever Jude goes on and on and on about, um, oh no wait, it's not Jude, it's Reen. Whenever Reen goes on and on and on about the wall in Wild Arms 5, and then everybody else starts going on and on and on about the wall too. It's just so odd. Oh man, that's a pretty cool ship you got there. I like it, I approve. Whoa. Wow, it's like a transformer. Like, holy crap. It's kind of neat. Oh, and away they go. You know, we really could have stopped them. Who's talking right now? Is Ashley talking or is the inner voice talking? I don't know. You know, what's going on here? Last time we heard from this voice, it was, uh, during the demon summoning event. Oh, I guess everything's okay. Oh, yeah, what are we gonna do now? I mean, they have a flying machine, and we're just stuck here on foot. Oh, well, what else did? Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, the border problem? What are you talking about? What border problem? How? You're in the air! Even if you're on ground, unless there's like a fence there or something, the border wouldn't stop you. Uh, I guess there would have been trouble for violating their airspace, but who cares? Give me a break, they're terrorists! Yeah, and they're gonna be in trouble for violating the airspace too, like the army can go to the terrorists then. Like the army's only gonna come after the good guys? Like, are you kidding me right now? It is a rather stupid thing to uh, get in our way, considering no other game has ever gone on about violating airspace. Like, you can get in your airship in any Final Fantasy game and fly all over the world a billion times and nobody says, you know, anything to you. Walls of the heart become invisible lines that divide the world? Really? Like, how corny and cheesy and stupid can you get? <laughs> oh, God. If I have to hear about them climbing the wall, I'm gonna scream. I heard enough about that in Wild Arms 5. Oh, well, what's your idea? Okay. Break up? Um, you don't have another mission for us or anything? You just want to leave as slowly as humanly possible? God, you're like slower than molasses in January. Come on. What do we do? Oh, we can hang around, I guess. Oh, yeah, Maria is close by. You guys should come along with me. Oh, that's true. Aww. Yeah, he should. Aww, that's sweet. Ashley's such a little gentleman. Tell you what. Whoa! Um, that's going a bit far, Milka. Aren't you only like 14 or something? I mean, come on. And Ashley and Marina are not married, and we all know how in JRPGs, unless you're married, nothing's going on. <laughs> yeah, why do you ask? What business is it of yours? Like, do you like Ashley, or are you just nosy? Something tells me she's just nosy. Um, yeah, he just said that. Okay. Oh, like what? You kind of have a bomb in your neck, you really can't do much else. But we're going to head off to the town of Maria next time, and let's play Wild Arms 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.